Good morning. Thank you for your time and not just volunteering, but also uh, if you came uh, in person to the to the um, to the meeting that we had, or if you're watching this right now. Uh, just so great to have your time. Thank you so much. Uh, we're just going to give a real quick rundown on uh, what to expect from the uh, first responders luncheon and, and what we're looking for from you. Um, the first thing is that first thing you do when you get here, wash your hands, soap and water and put the gloves on. That's the first thing. We're, we're serving first responders. They're used to, you know, um, cleanliness for when they're done with things. And I think we need to have the same standard of uh, professionalism uh, while we are serving them food. <laughs> um, every, and then the second thing is everything you do uh, and, and say uh, really reflects um, not just yourself, but it reflects the church as a whole. It reflects Christianity and it reflects God. You know, some of these people that are going to be serving, they might not like God. They might not like Christians. They they might have bad experiences from the past, and we're not here to judge them. We're just here to love and serve them. That's it. Uh, we really definitely want to be a, a witness with our conduct. In fact, it could be said um, that you really can't be a witness uh, to somebody with words um, and, and, and until uh, you are a witness without words. Um, my um, One of my old pastors used to say, people don't know how much you people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care and I think that definitely applies to uh, witness witnessing and to ministry um, people I think are used to kind of getting badgered into things uh, I know speaking for myself and I'm sure many of you can relate uh, when when you've been to things and it, it, they're doing something for you but it's not really for you and, and you kind of get the feeling that you're just trying to make you feel guilty to do something for them and we don't we don't want them to to think that we don't want them to think oh they're just doing this so that they come to our church or so that they get saved we're not we're not doing that we are simply loving and serving them no strings attached that's it um so obviously you know no fighting or, or ranting or hateful attitudes or anything like that if you have an attitude against like police for instance Maybe probably shouldn't, maybe shouldn't come, or if you can keep your mouth shut, or that kind of stuff, you know. Uh, if you have a certain political view, that's fine. Just kind of keep it to yourself. We're not there to, to you know, unload on people. We're there to love and serve them with zero strings attached. Uh, we're not breaking up, you know, old uh, tickets that we've gotten, or, you know, anything like that. And we're not playing politics. We're not, none of that. We're just loving and serving, no strings attached. And uh, that, that definitely needs to come out of our attitudes, too. Um, I know speaking from things that I've done in the past and groups that I've been a part of, it, it, I think it's better to have not enough help than to have enough help but have a bad attitude because it really just spreads and it kind of gets into everybody and they all start acting kind of, it just makes everything tense. Uh, it's really, attitude I think is, is really one of the one of the key things to, to really anything that we do as a church. Um, we are not here to, to, to preach and to hand out tracts to them. We are simply here to love and serve them. That's the whole goal, okay? So we're not going to hand out, like, you know, Bible tracts or anything like that. We're just going to love them and serve them, give them food, and, and, and let them know that they're appreciated. That's what we're trying to do. We're not trying to, you know, incriminate them. We're not trying to, you know, get them stuck. And in, in we're not, none of that, okay? None of that. Uh, absolutely not. Um we're not trying to get them to come here, like I said. We're not trying to force them to become a Christian, force them to come like us. We're just trying to love and serve them. Um, I really want you to get this idea, no strings attached, none. Uh, if they if they leave this place and talk bad about us and say that we did it, you know all that that's fine. Like we're not we're not doing this so they think that they we're not doing this so that they think higher of us. We're doing it just to show them we appreciate them and we love and serve, we're loving and serving them. Um, we're going to have one person, we're going to have two people who are like sub leaders. One's going to be in charge of all the food. So they're going to be uh, coming one to two hours early. They'll get in contact with you um, about what um, what you're doing with them. Uh, they'll be responsible for cutting up like the vegetables and, and getting the meat and all that. Um, we're doing all the last minute shopping this week to get all the final stuff. Everything's going to be in a to-go box. We're going to have some tables set up if they want to eat here, but otherwise... Um, everything's in its to-go box, so they can just come and leave if they want. If they're on shift or anything like that, uh, we don't want to. We don't want it to be inconvenient for them, uh, but we obviously want it to be welcoming too. So um, we'll have everything to go. If they want to eat here, that's fine too. Um, we uh, we're gonna have the, the second sub leader is going to be in charge of taking the orders uh, and making sure that that everything's 
being put together how it should be. Um, and like I say, those two sub leaders will be contacting people to kind of um, point people in the right direction. Um, they, we aren't going to make a whole lot of food in advance uh, because we don't want things to be cold. We want them to have a nice warm burger. If they want cheese on it, that the cheese would be nice and melted. Oh, mwah, it's going to be perfect. That, that's what we want. And not a bunch of cold patties. So we're not going to be making a whole bunch of stuff in advance. Uh, pretty much uh, right at the order as well as we can. Um, as far as that, Joe and I are going to be doing the grilling. We've got two different grills, um, and so we're going to be doing all the grilling ourselves. Uh, well, the two sub leaders will be in charge of the the orders and the and the food. Let's see, let me just check to see if I didn't miss anything here. As far as when to come to help, uh, plan somewhere around nine thirty to ten. Um, Eleven is when it starts, uh, but the sub leader should. Um, should contact you this week and let you know when they would like you there. Um, let's see what else. If there's nothing to do, which I don't find overly likely, but if that situation does come up, um, just kind of be around, be a present. So, you know, if they need anything, you can help them, point them in the right direction, uh, answer any questions that they might have, uh, and also uh, make them feel uh, welcome. You know, just talk to them about life, like about stuff. You, we're not trying to, you know, like, what are your thoughts on on the presidential candidates? So we're, not, we're, not, we're not trying to make things tense for them. We're trying to make them feel welcome and loved. No strings attached, just to love and serve them. Um, we will be handing out the leftover Mother's Day and Father's Day gifts, Father's Day for the boys, Mother's Day for the girls, uh, until they're out. Uh, we don't want to just hoard a bunch of stuff that we don't need, and I think it would make them feel loved and appreciated too. Uh, so, you know... Um, uh, if they haven't gotten one, make sure that make sure that they do. Uh, besides that, um, thank you very much for your time and for watching this and for being a part of this. Uh, it's it's people like you that make these kinds of things um, special and excellent. Uh, no no one single person can make uh, this kind of an event uh, work. So thank you very much for your time uh, and for your care.